Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. This would be a quick guide to everyone if you want to run your Flutter web app using Python 3. Now, to run a Flutter web app, first you need to compile it. So over here, I'm going to compile this using this configuration, but there are many varieties. You should choose whatever you need. So let's go ahead and hit enter, then it'll compile a Flutter web app for us. Now this compilation may take a bit of time, so you need to wait. Okay, so here we see that build is done and it's inside build web directory. So here we see the build is done and it's inside build web directory. So let's go ahead and navigate it. Uh, to find it, you need to come over here, the project explorer over here, and inside this build folder and within it here, you'll have your web directory and then within it, you will have everything else together. So now we need to go to a terminal and point to this directory. So now here, I'm in this directory, which is web directory. Make sure that you navigate to this directory from your terminal, okay? And after that, you have to run this command. It says it's Python 3, and you should have dash m HTTP server 800, okay? So now here, I'm going to hit enter. Now here, it already says that it's running okay on port 8000 so all you need to do right now we need to go ahead and open our browser and then we need to do localhost 8000 so now here i'm going to type in localhost 1000 and hit enter now here we see that this application is loading so this is the flutter web app application which i'm serving using python now of course everything has been loaded some pictures are not being loaded uh, that's a different issue but now, for example, if we come over here, you will see it stops like this. We can see orders, we can see images here, we can view things, we can go back, okay, you can go to our home page. All right, you can view beverages over here, you can view pastas, okay, you can view chicken or different kind of stuffs, okay? So the idea is if you have a Flutter web application, you can just simply compile it and run it using Python server on your local host.